Today, we are gathering to embark on a great journey for the year of 2022. I am going to be watching, I don't know, like around 17 anime, I think. Because I'll be watching CWA's top 30 anime of all time. At least the ones I haven't seen yet. So if you pay attention to the anime community at all, and you haven't been living on and you haven't been living under a rock, you definitely know about the Trash Taste Boys. You got Giga, aka Garn, you got CWA, aka Connor, and the Anime Man, aka Joey. Although I like to call him Joey the Anime Man, thanks to a brother in Japan. Yep. It's Joey the Anime Man. What's up? But what exactly am I talking about? Well, a while ago, Crunchyroll went up to these three boys and asked them what their top 30 anime of all time are. And they have the list. Each of the lists has, you know, obviously their favorite anime. At least Garn and Connors actually have like their top 30 anime of all time. Joey purposefully went out and put like more obscure-ish type anime because he already saw that Garn and Connors list like were already like kind of mainstreamish anime. So he wanted to make his list a bit more, you know, different. But what are you doing with this knowledge? Why, why am I telling you all this? Well, well that's because me and my friends Osafamon and Mob we're each gonna watch all the shows in a list. Or at least the ones we haven't seen yet. Like I already said, I got Connors, so I'm watching Connors' list. Osafamon got Gigguk's list. And Mob got Joey's list. The way we decided who gets which list was quite simple. We just picked the list we wanted to see the least. Although it didn't quite work out that way because Mob really wanted to see Joey's list. I can almost taste it. Mm. And he was adamant adamant about watching his list. I wanted to watch Joey's list because I really didn't want to watch the list, which sounds kind of dumb, doesn't it? But I really didn't want to watch Joey's list, so I should have gotten him, but Mob, Mob just said no. He didn't. He said no. I want to watch Joey's list. Why? Because Joey has exquisite taste. So with that being said, obviously I got Connor's list, which I'm still not happy with. If I got to pick my list on who I actually wanted to watch, it would have been Gigux, but I got Connor's. It's okay, you know? It's whatever. Fine. Obviously that Mito Sophomon got Giga's list, which sucks for him. He used to watch One Piece. Um, praise out for that guy. So yeah, so this is gonna be like a year long journey. So I'm gonna be watching Connor's list. I don't know quite yet if I'm gonna be updating it like along the way. The only thing you have to look forward to for sure is that at the end of the year, I'm gonna be ranking like his list, like the top tier shows. Like I'm probably gonna make a tier list instead of like an actual like number list. Just because it's gonna be kind of hard to like actually number it all and actually be kind of accurate. I think a tier list would be easier for me. I don't want to put too much thought into it because I'm kind of fucking lazy. But yeah, let's take a look at the shows in his list. You got... Trash. Of the shows he has that I have seen, they're okay. I mean like, uh, Sakamoto I thought was okay, you know. I don't know how he had it in top 30. I mean, it's just, it was decent. I don't know how he has Ren a girlfriend on there. Come here, come here you. What are you doing? Just what the fuck are you doing? You guys probably already know how I feel about running a girlfriend because you're probably, to be honest, mostly my friends. And my friends know I hate running a girlfriend. But if you are a newcomer, I hate running a girlfriend. And he has it in fucking top 26. That's... That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful. He truly is a monkey. Then Made in Abyss, you know, okay. Fullmetal Alchemist, great show. Definitely deserves to be up there. Death Parade, it was good, you know. Doable. Code Geass. I didn't like it as much as most people do. I thought it was just okay too, but I can definitely see why it's top 30. Toradora, get the fucking shit out of here. Good and Logon, okay. You know, I never really got the hype for Good and Logon. I, I think it's good, but people always have like top 10 and I just, I just don't see it. I really, I really just don't. Death Note deserves it for the first 17 episodes alone. After that, fucking like bottom 50. Mob Psycho, Mob Psycho, okay, you know, it's whatever. Of course you have Attack on Titan. You can't make a top 30 list and not have Attack on Titan. I'm pretty sure Attack on Titan is in like everybody's like top at least 15. If you've actually sat down and watched Attack on Titan, paid attention to what's happening, I can't see how anybody can have it other than top 15. Like that's that's the bare minimum. And then of course his number one show of all time is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Obviously I have my own JoJo poster. One right here too, it's just a bit harder to see on the camera. but. I got my own. Part 2 is the best one, in case you were wondering. Don't quite have a figure yet, but you know, I'd probably never get one. So yeah, all the shows he, all the shows I have seen on his list, 
they're pretty it's a it's pretty solid you know i have a few other ones but maybe he just hasn't seen them now as for the shows that i haven't seen and which ones i'm most excited for let's let's take a look at that the shows i'm least excited to watch are quite a lot of them <laughs> like i said i didn't really want to see his list either but yes i'm not looking forward to kill a kill i'm looking very much forward to bakano and golden time I'm, i've been really wanting to see those two especially bakano Golden Time, you know, it's been in the back of my mind. It hasn't really been, like, up there, but I'm excited to see that. I don't want to see Oran High School Host Club. I'm sure you probably know why. I've heard a lot of good things about Devilman Crybaby, so looking forward to that one, too. Psycho Pass has been in the back burner forever, but I really do want to see that one, too. Steinscape, I kind of dropped it a while back, but, you know, it's whatever. So I'll pick it back up. Semi Shampoo, thanks to Crunchyroll Expo 2019, I'm very hyped for. If you were there, you know what I'm talking about. Crunchyroll Expo, what the fuck is going on? Have you ever heard of Samurai Shampoo? Why are we still here? One Punch Man, it's whatever. I guess I'll watch it. I'm not, not really too excited about that. Hunter x Hunter, I will finally watch it. Been a long time coming, but I'm also kind of excited for that one too. Hoping it's really good. Has a lot of hype. I really want it to be good. I really do. Yeah, but uh, the other ones on the list are kind of just okay. I mean, I don't really care to be honest. But how exactly is this all going down? Well. I'm going to be watching it like from bottom to top, so from I'm going down from 30 to 1. So right now I'm watching 1 outs, watching 1 outs because it's already April and I've only seen 2 episodes out of like 17 shows, so it's not looking good. But I will get it done, don't worry, I got, I got an extra 8 months to watch 17 shows. That's not too bad. If I let it sit for any longer, then it probably will be pretty bad. But yeah, I'm gonna be watching all the shows and I'm gonna rank them all. All of them, by the way, not just the ones that, I've, that I'm have that i watching this year. I'll put like the full list together and like tier list all of them. Perhaps I'll even get the other boys in here and we can all put a tier list together for each of our shows. Maybe they can each make a tier list and then we'll tier list all of it together to make a big one colossal tier list out of the Trash Taste podcast. So yeah, it's a, it's a little fun challenge. Let me know if you guys wanna see like updates like mid year because probably by like, I don't know, July or September, I watched four episodes of One Outs. But yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's about all I wanted to say. It is a pretty monkey list. I guess I'll uh, guess I'll just end it there. Have a nice day.